for sale 1956 Chevy 210. I'm going to walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 56 Chevy 210 four-door, two-owner, lifelong Southern-owned, finished in factory colors with his original six-cylinder motor and three-speed on the column. It's a totally unmolested car, the original style, interior, the underneath is the nicest, all original undercarriage I've seen on a Tri-5 to date. Uh, so walk around it, point out a couple flaws that I see, we'll fire it up and then we'll drive it. Uh, so here we go. First off, body straight, it's all steel, all original body panels. The chrome is beautiful, with very, very light, I guess, marking on it from like toweling, stuff like that. Uh, Trim is nice, glass is nice, all that kind of stuff. And you'll see it as I get, I'm going through there. I see a little chip right there on the corner of the hood. However, the hood fitment is excellent. And uh, first off, the color combination on the car is gorgeous. The blue with the light blue and the dark blue down below with the white wall tires and the baby moon and it's, it's a cream puff example of an unmolested 56 chevy this guy's like i said original six cylinder motor in there again the firewall is beautiful the inner fender wells are all super nice the frames are rock solid I and mean, you see how how the nice attention the detail the tidiness with the wires and the hoses and whatnot uh, it's got a new carburetor that they put on it not too long ago and um, she's sweet underhood super nice again it's a the trunk is probably the nicest part of the car believe it or not <laughs> I'm kidding when I say that but you'll, you'll see when I get there uh, you see a couple little marks on the lower of there in that like triangle section between the doors but the fitment because the lineup one at the two extra doors all the way around on top of this section here is super nice there's the vintag in place and again the pillar and the door jam are all super nice there's, there's a chance this could be the original interior i kind of see why it can be and if that is the case, it's in excellent condition. There's no rips on the seat. There's no sagging on the seat. Pop in. It was featured in a country music album which I have in the back trunk section, which I will grab the key for. The headliner is pristine on the car. I just see there's two little bubbles right there in the paint. All the glass is in excellent condition. The worst part of the car is there's a scratch right there that's been touched up, another one that's been touched up, and another one that's been touched up, and it didn't look like they did too good of a job on that one. However, the rest of the car, as you see, is in excellent condition. As you know, or you felt the gas can, even in there, the paint's nice.
let me pop the trunk. First off, country music album, advertisement, a bunch of please don't looks. There's a newspaper article for some reason, shop manual, more of the country album. That's pretty cool. The Wright Brothers, I think they changed their name. I looked them up. Again, this has nothing to do with the car. Um, nice factory spare. That's actually a white wall tire with the original jack. And just, just take a look at the beautiful paint in the trunk here. That's super nice. As well as I, uh, something that's always skimped, but it's super nice here. The, the trunk jam, I guess you want to say. The lip around it is gorgeous. As well as the paint on the underhood, which is like quality of the exterior of the car, which is really nice to see. It's, 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 that's the sign of what I'm showing is the car in general. Um, keep going. I know just like the other side, there's just a couple bubbles right in that corner. But again, the fitment on the, f the doors, and again, wear down there in that triangle section is excellent. As well as the way the hood lines up to this, which lines up to that, that's always nice to see. Top of the car, other than this bug, get out of here. <laughs> Stupid. Awesome. Will be up for sale later today on my website nextgenclassiccars.com and ebay both links will be in the description of this video so if you have any interest uh let us know 56 210 four door unmolested excellent example of a very original not messed around with car uh Two owner southern owned again the underneath the floors the frame supports the braces pristine like i said the nicest that i have seen on an original tri-5 even going back older of course but anyway um, we're getting to the point where we're gonna fire it up now and then drive it you see a couple more little marks on that lower section there And again, the trim tag's in place. I don't know if I pointed that out already. And something else I'm noticing that I want to point out is that if you look here, when they painted it, they put all new bolts on it. New bolts on this, new bolts on that. Um, you see one over there, over there too. And the same thing on this side. So again, just a little attention to detail thing. Um, so we're gonna fire it up now and then we'll drive it. Thank you. All right, here we go. We're going to fire it up.
to the world of Tri-5. <laughs> 1956, basically a two-owner car. It was in the same family since April of this year. Until April of this year. Yeah. It looks, it runs, it drives like the day it was came off the assembly line. Everything works perfectly. Oh, you got your window open. Nicely maintained throughout the years. Southern car to begin with. Never rushed. No. Or rust repairs. Factory interior was replaced with. Original paint colors on the outside. All the electronics work, work perfectly. Who should we park it? I don't have to drive a truck. Oh, a, a Jeff? Jeff in the California with the charger? I gotta get him a quote for the enclosed transport today. Is he near LA or where is he near? He gave me a zip. It's a, I think he's by the beach, by the coast. It's Pismo Beach. LA is on the coast, right? Yeah, but it's Pismo Beach. I don't know. I didn't look up where it is. Oh, Mr. Hot Dog here. Miguel. The, the official answer is no. Okay. He's not taking tests, everybody. He's not taking tests. <laughs>